Ooh, what's up, gamers? It's your boy Jacob, um, Lolol Mills, and I'm here to play a little bit of summer Soma. That's <laughs> my um. on the wrong there it is uh, let me just check that the audio is all working it is on <clears throat> now I'll wait for my one viewer to show up. Catherine's art medal. Now the people stuck. The best thing to go to the theater. Find the Dunbat, the only vehicle. This. There, so I'm gonna just find a shipwreck of Curie and hijack him with this vessel. See, we found a submarine or something on the walk, but that horrible thing was nearby. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, let's do it. Uh, let's wait for it to load. Does it load? Is it going? Is it doing it? Yes, like a mi like a mi it's like a tiny bit, a tiny bit at a time. I've gone for a, for a whiz in this time. God, this is a long loading screen. I should get a new SSD, a big one. There we go. All right, so we came in here, we tried it, and she says, "God, it's still still loading." She said, we need some stuff, we're going to find... What does that symbol mean? That symbol means... Um, I mean, there was a submarine back there, but I don't want to go back there, so I'm going to go this way. Is that a friendly robot? the shipwreck. I'm going to follow these lights. Jesus Christ. What's that? What's going on? I'm going to hide. I can't hide anywhere. I'm going to turn my light off. I'm going to run this way. Red means good. Oh. In, in here, in 
nothing bad ever happens in, in this place. Reminds me of Otacon's sister. Leave. She was called. Dashcon. Yeah. Any. I'm just gonna keep moving. Dory, you know, keep just keep swimming, just keep swimming. It's been kind of my tactic this whole time. Like if I just move forward, things won't get me. Why am I just back in the ocean again? Alright, well we're going this way now. I'm gonna keep running. Oh my god, oh my god. Shit out. Right. Um I'm just gonna keep running. Running. Where am I going? I don't know. This way. The game's not gonna let me get too lost, that's what I think. We play video games because we're in the magic circle and we know that like no actual physical harm is going to come to us, so it's okay. That's why we like to watch scary movies as well. So I'm going to just look at the floor again. They, can't, they don't hurt you if you look at the floor. So keep going around. Yeah, if that's what I want to do. Magic Circle is also a theatre thing, but it's where everyone playing a game or taking part or watching theatre or whatever has this implicit but instantly understood agreement that, you know, the game happens within the game or the uh, production happens within the production. It's not real life, but for, for a little for a little time together, we're all going to kind of pretend that it's real life. Um, and so... Uh, what feels grossly unfair is when someone breaks the magic circle, for example, flipping the chessboard, and then the magic circle is broken, and it's just like, well, no one won, no one lost, it just, it just got destroyed, didn't it? <sighs> or someone dying on stage for real, something like that. Or I guess a less dramatic example of a, you know, someone quitting halfway through a show. I'm just gonna shut that one. Oh, I started glitching, so I thought let's um, let's ignore it. But the stairs run out. Yeah, and in fact, there's no indication that they even went anywhere because it just leads straight into an upper way. So. <coughs> Exit if we need it. Possibly. Why can't I swim for real? Oh. One of my favourite little quirks of musical theory is that the song Media for the Intuition is meaningless to the plot. Yeah. The only purpose is to get everyone come through the fact that there are people singing and dancing masquerade in Phantom of the Opera. You know, I've never seen Phantom of the Opera all the way through. I'm just going to shut my bedroom door. <clears throat> I 
not a spooky thing, just as a, if I exclaim again, I don't want my parents to think I'm dying or something. Yeah, never seen Phantom, never seen Phantom. But I've read Masquerade, the Terry Pratchett Discworld um, parody of it, so... Same thing, right? <clears throat> Let's go. Is the Phantom of the Opera on Disney Plus? Because if not, I'm just gonna watch. Yeah, I've never seen Hamilton. That one's on Disney. There's two bad bits of the film Kingsman. One is where he punches through glass underwater, despite you being able to see that his punches are really slow. And the second is uh, where she says, I'll let you do me in the ass, you save us. And then, really distressingly, the entire second film just kind of took that, that, that second worst bit and just ran with it. I was, I was pretty sad about that. Kingsman. Kingsman. Yeah. The second film kind of killed all my enthusiasm in the franchise. Because in my view it just took that, which was like the worst bit. Just made a whole film of it. Oh. That's what she said that one time, right? She said, don't look at it. So, I just never look at it. We got two doors. scared I jump onto a table and kind of crouch on it. I've also never seen Bridget Jones's diary. Is that a rib cage? Is that bones? Are these bones? God. I'm just going to look at the wall. I'm just going to look at the wall. there. I can see it. I'm just, I'm just going to stare at this wall for a bit. Alright. That worked. Oh my god. Right. There's, 
does not looking at it actually work? I don't, I don't know what's going on in this game. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stare at the wall again. Yeah, it worked. Get in that room, but now I'm right. What if I just crouch in this corner now, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna rub, I'm gonna rub the wall. There it is. But I want to get that. I'm going to walk backwards. Slowly. Where I was before. No, it's Helping. Cool. sofa. Monsters somewhere nearby. Okay. Oh god. Just gonna keep looking at my corner.
Where, where is voice coming from this TV? Right. So this was pointless then. I'm gonna run this way. But yeah. Gosh. Okay, there it is. Uh, right. So that was. That was all pointless. There wasn't like anything to pick up or anything. There's the door. Yeah. Okay. Gonna look at the wall. Um. when it's in the corridor. Um, oh my god, there it is. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I'm not looking at wherever it is. I'm running this way now. It's the right way. Oh, this is a dead end, you see. I, I didn't want to go in a dead end, really. Uh. Oh no! Right, I'm just gonna look in the corner again. This is my technique now. You go to a place, you look in the corner, you just kind of wait a bit. See? It works. You don't look at it though. Maybe there's a maybe there's a door. Damn it! So I've been here before as well. Where do I go? I'm completely turn around now. these bubbles. Bop, bop. At some point I was probably heading in the right direction. I don't know when. He opened my he opened the door. Oh, it was this way. F one two. F one two. So the way I came in. Ladder. See ya. Monsters can't climb ladders. Universal truth. stuff sideways but not all the time this is happening why am I checking the, what am I checking the lockers for exactly loot all right what's over here oh it's designed to be on multiple orientations I guess Okay, let's 
go in there. are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. There's monsters out there. <laughs> like the ones we saw at Lambda. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, oh, shit. We need to get out of here. I know, I know. I'm going. Something is stabilizing the ship. We need to let it know this is an emergency. Convince the ship that this is an emergency. Convince the ship that this is an emergency. Convince the ship that this is an emergency. Just wanted to say something comforting. Is it wherever I want to go? I wanted to go in there. Do I? Go in there? Maybe. What if I look at the wall the whole time? I could do a little funny crab walk. there but I'm going to ignore it in favour of just getting away from that. Engine rooms are typically upstairs aren't they? So this is good. Absolute. The surface is just 
This is worrying. I don't think we want to be doing that too often. Just turn around. It's an engine room. It's like an engine room. Let's unplug the lead. Yep. in a bad sense of direction. Okay. Don't dally when you get out the door. That's the lesson. I dallied. And the more I die, the less I remember the way I came. this
go, 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 Let me just check the chat real quick. What are you following on a plane that's just on an emergency landing? I don't know, Chris. I've never been on a plane that's just on an emergency landing. I assume there were lights or something. Um, this may shock you, but the game is a little stressful for me. So, um, not seeing all those clues in the heat of the... Uh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Hold on to something. I didn't follow anything. I just went what I thought was the right way. Hold on to something. Can you steer this thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're it's heading okay. for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. I thought I was done for back there. Seems like the WoW was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the WoW. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like, uh, it's more like a cancer. Great. Was that the ship? Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Brace for impact! Hold on, the blast just pushed us all the flat out! What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. Hope that's a friend. Hey, it is a friend. Oh, hey, little guy. Didn't expect to see you again. Don't worry, Chad. I'll find a way to say hi. Crab will take me there. Ooh, two crabs. Let's go, crabs. That's a long drop. Oh my god, no! Good robot. 
that shit into them? He got me pretty bad. I think I made it worse pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. You saw that, right? You saw Akers fucking injecting that shit I just wanted them? to cramp. He got me pretty bad. I think I made it worse pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. Can you see him? Fuck! He got on the Zeppelin. He's going back to Theta. We have to warn them. Good luck with that. The platform radio is dead. Remember? The Lumar Annex should work. It has to. Yeah. You go. I'm not gonna make it. I'm just not. Come on, Evans. We have to warn them. Come on! platform theta still want to go out and it's directly in front of me something in here aren't we Universal Helper. Thank you. 
I'm sweating in this suit. I need some vacation, soon. Got to speak with Akers about that. Isn't that right, Akers? Yeah? You put in a good word for me? <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing. Nah, I'm just messing with you. in the black blood of our wooden
Aye, aye. Um, station over there Alan's a lost cause, but 049840, these are related to the antenna. Hmm. Strasky, you can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set roots. Volgen did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. is the landing platform. Okay, we've got a plan. This one. Oh. Transport. There's the control room.
Eins. Transport active. Unspecified cargo. Zeppelin's on its way. Better get ready. Better get ready. Unspecified cargo. Sure, that'll be fine. This dead guy. existence like that where are we now delta at least that's what you said before the crash oh right of course is this a zeppelin appropriately named you think it can get us to theta it's a cargo transport they use them for moving materials between the sites anything that's too big for the shuttles i'm sure it can carry us uh, why won't it work come on oh the tool chip is bust isn't that part of the omni tool look who's been paying attention we have huh. to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head oh and steal their God. chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us the chip. Okay. Guess I have no choice. Is my friendly robot? Do I want to kill that? Really? Gonna kill the guy that speaks. Guess what, dipshit? This 
it works. Did that to save you. But he seemed sincere. Present. He was delusional. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Let's not worry was about he it. really that different from us? Yeah. It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Uppsala. It just keeps suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we can get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, I am a robot. Thanks. I didn't realize they made it so, uh, explicit. I thought it was just like, oh, am I though? Good. It's like a daily planet. Uh. Can we talk? I want to. Nice. You're like Lee Scoresby. Underwater. Yeah. Because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cool? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kav, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah. The warden unit? The WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See you soon. Okay. Yeah. are. Wake 
Wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Right. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The lab sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Emma, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. Mm. Big. Okay. Go straight in. That's not possible, right? If I ever do all the bad things. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. Huh. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. What? Amazing, right? How does that work? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin, I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. See you later. Will do. I... I don't understand. Um... He was just gonna rot here on the ocean floor forever. Like she was trying to convince herself it was the Ark, but it's not. So we're out of a misery. Better. I don't think we're going to be able to come back and save these people. I can figure this out. Yeah, just like Metro Prime 3.
cool. Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. Here? We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or a virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... it's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Neato. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Find someone who knows the security cipher. That seems good. Hmm. 
Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? In the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Find someone who knows the security cipher. cleared out. Anyone here? Anyone here? Anyone here? close to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You're really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. I don't know what the heck is. I don't know what's going on.
left trigger guns up. Oh, there's, there's no one in this room. Is there? Something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. The controls are being a bit laggy again. real what's not kind of stuff Yeah, I don't see how that logic works at all, Mark. Because you on the Ark would be perfectly happy, but your original self would just be dead. So, like, this isn't the original Simon that I'm playing as. He's long dead. Great copy, but still a copy. Copy feels like the original, but he's not. That's the point. Original's dead. Marionette. Some kind of puppet master, is it? Huh. Oh my 
world. This. I'm gonna say anything about this? Way. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Okay, let's let's go, I guess. Look through your bin. Not weird at all, is it? There's no reason to get lax on cleanliness. <sighs> All right. Dude that killed himself. more minutes and I'm going to head to bed. Um, hopefully I find a good stopping point. Will have entered the ark and explained this is accomplished. By ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. Not quite no one takes this from the bottom science of my mouth finger. Here and that's not bite down, causing my end of demise. Here's my truth on this, there's no treasure to warn that I am victorious, why you all do the same and join me inside the ark. I don't think that works how you think it works, Mark. Of up to 75 trillion individual cells. They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. Then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to 
diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. Again, Copy thinks the copy feels like it's original, but it's not. The original is a separate entity which dies. I'm not I'm not drinking Mark's Kool-Aid. Robin. Robin. Robin was Robin was well into it. Thing. All dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in this rang and the continuity. Freaking yikes, man. Resin. of it. Alright, well, let's run all the way back down here then. See ya. I feel like I want to call it a, a night there. Um, can I just save it and put me back in the same place? I sure hope so. 
Uh, so cool, some good stuff. Um, nice to be off the ocean floor. Um, I don't buy into Mark's theory at all. The copy thinks it's off scot free, but the original dies. So there's that. <sighs> Spooky game. Okay. Well, um, goodbye, I guess.